runs a smooth financial system is about a lot more than just collecting taxes, having a transparent budget process and payment system. It's about governing in an efficient and legitimate way. Here in the West African country of Liberia, the International Monetary Fund's technical assistance is making a real difference on the ground. You're going to meet some teachers who told us they used to be paid in this very cumbersome system that often meant they waited two weeks for their paychecks. And now, thanks to the IMF's help, they get paid with a push of a button. The previous system was very hectic because when it's spare time, you don't find teacher in the classroom. Teacher will have to leave to go to the center and get the check. So to fix the system, experts working with the Ministry of Finance had to do three things. Make a list of the teachers and their banking information. Open bank accounts for teachers who didn't have one. And now the Ministry of Finance takes one check to each bank, along with the list of teachers, and the bank simply transfers their pay directly into their account. See, so it's perfect, it's unique, and that is working fine. The challenge that this government faces is basically, you know, how do you get away from the ills that led to the war. I mean, essentially, it's how do you prevent the recurrence of the civil conflict that we had. It basically boils down to governance, poor governance. A whole range of different structures, whether it be uh, from, you know, managing the economy, the macroeconomic program, the, the fiscal management program, the, the central bank, you know, uh, policies with respect to how it interacts with banks, etc. All those things basically come together to ensure that much or as much as possible of the government's revenues are kept in the coffers to go towards school, hospitals, clinics, roads, etc., and the kinds of things that you know make people happy, make society, you know, uh, 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 make society the, the ultimate beneficiary of the government's revenues, and therefore prevent the kinds of conflict that we 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 had in this country over the past 15, 16 years. The Civil War wreaked havoc on daily life for the almost four million people in the small West African country of Liberia. Roads and buildings were destroyed, people were displaced from their homes, and schools shut their doors. In rebuilding their lives, Liberians and their government need practical help to fix their economy and financial system. The IMS technical assistance is supported by several donors, including the European Union, Japan, and Sweden, and is designed to share a deep reservoir of knowledge, experience, and experts from over 100 countries. It means a country in need of help doesn't have to start from scratch, but instead can adopt the best practices that work for them. The, one of the technical assistance that we all remember, because it's critical to our reform, was the crafting of uh, what we call the public financial management law. The IMF feeded uh, technical advisor for more than a year that worked with us. We discussed the details, the nuances, and all the challenges and was with us even during the process of the uh, legislative review and approval. And, but what that has done is that it has put together an overarching frame of laws that deals with public financial management. When the government took over, we had revenue uh, base of about, a revenue amount of about 88 million. We now at 340 plus uh, million uh, United States dollars. Our modernization strategy, we have a three-year lifespan, and we hope that within the third year, we would have achieved the level of professionalism and built the integrity of our organization to the point that Liberia could become an uh, African reference for the delivery of professional services to taxpayers and for the revenue we collect. One of the things we need to work on is to ensure a robust transfer of knowledge mechanism in technical assistance. What we need to do, as I usually tell our TAs, is that your relevance is seen by how quickly you make yourself redundant. Despite the challenges that we face as a country, there is great hope among the young people for a better future. Uh, we, we've come from uh, over a decade of violence and there, there are so many things that can make young people to feel discouraged. There are so many things that can make them to, to, to not be hopeful. But one thing we all have in common is that this is our country, this is Liberia and there's nowhere else that we can have as a country.